This is the Toyota Dream Build Challenge. Join the journey to the winner's circle with these pro athletes representing the pinnacle of action sports, along with their world-class brand partners and a team of designers and fabricators who will transform four new Toyota vehicles into head-turning works of art. In the end, you decide the winner of this year's Toyota Dream Build Challenge. Transforming Toyota's toughest vehicle into something even more ominous takes time. When that transformation happens on a deadline between two cities over a thousand miles away, it also takes motivation. It's obviously stressful when you have time constraints. Thomas actually flew out here. Um, if he hadn't done that, we'd probably be in real trouble. Just, you know, constantly communicating with him, telling him where we're at, what we can do. And honestly, the whole thing's kind of really fluid. Nothing's scripted out, so. Um, we're just kind of winging it. Um, I think it looks pretty good, but um, he's gonna have to clean up everything when it gets to Texas for sure. The NFAB and Joe Gibbs Racing Motocross crew are watching the clock. And today in Charlotte, North Carolina, they receive a motivational boost from an iconic leader. Hey, there's a lot of, a lot of racket back here. We got a new project. Yeah, Toyota gave us a big project. They want us to do their SEMA build. With three Super Bowl titles and three NASCAR Cup Series championships, Joe Gibbs knows what it takes to win. And he's eager to have this year's Toyota Dream Build Trophy rest at the Joe Gibbs Racing Motocross Facility. I love Toyota from the standpoint of its performance and everything they do. This project right here, when they're through with this, you won't believe how neat and cool that truck is. So we're excited about that and obviously getting the truck ready for SEMA. Everybody in the world goes to SEMA. Everybody that has anything to do with motorized anything. So that's fun. This thing's gonna be so nice. I, I'll hang out at the racetrack with you guys. <laughs> All right, man, well, hey, I wish you the best on the project and uh, I'll catch up with you and I'll see you guys at the racetrack. All right, Justin, Josh. All right, appreciate it, sir. The competition's gonna have no, they're not even gonna be able to hang. That's, that's the only deal, you know? <laughs> we, got a, we got a strong group of guys that uh, really know what they're doing and it's gonna be tough to beat us. It's, obviously, you can see all our resources here. It's gonna be uh, one of those things, when you get to SEMA, you're gonna have to see it for yourself. But we've got all the right people in place. We got, you know, the NPAP guys. We got Spencer here. And that Koi actually working on the truck. I think that's pretty cool to have the team owner out here welding and you know banging stuff with the hammer and I don't think we're gonna get beat. I think we're gonna have the, the winning truck, that's for sure. From today's work in Charlotte, the Tundra will find its way to Houston, where the NFAB crew and Joe Gibbs Racing Motocross R&D engineer, Spencer Bloomer, will dress the cage for its SEMA debut. Oh yeah. Does it nice and smooth. More. I would like to, but it, but it ran out of cord. <laughs> Keeping the deadline in mind for the build is one thing. Making sure the paint is dry for SEMA is another. What is your, what are you thinking we can do this in? I mean, what? I'm thinking I'm going to have to have people on it all day and all night. I mean, it, this but, is. But you, you think as gnarly as this looks, because we're not, we're not still fabricators, you know? No, I understand what you're saying, but it, it especially with the graphics that we're putting on it and the black paint, this has to be absolutely perfect, it has to be flawless. So if you look, this is actually higher than this. So we have to integrate this so when the paint flows, it's just got to be. And then we got the, yeah, we got all this. Painting something round is not the easiest thing in the world to do, so. The deadline is quickly approaching as it is for all the teams involved in this. You know, you only got so long uh, to put this together. You know, our logistical issue as far as being a tri-coastal deal is, is something that's easy to overcome. Deadlines are, are tough to hit, but uh, we're gonna keep burning the midnight oil until we get there. Watch all of the teams as they go for the win in this year's Toyota Dream Build Challenge. You decide the winner. Voting starts October 31st. Log on to toyotadreambuild.com for all the details.